Hello beauties, I'm Shayna Latrice, beauty content is all I release. If fashion, beauty, hair, makeup, and nails is your vibe, you need to subscribe. Today's video are these perfect DIY poly gel pedicure toes. Is giving very much salon results. Is giving clean girl. It's giving I'm that and then some. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what it's giving. But with no further ado, we're going to get straight into the video. So first, I like to soak my feet in warm soapy water. And that just sets the tone for that salon quality. Then I go in with my sugar scrub and I'm just rubbing that in my feet and my legs. Then I'm also going to take the Calistone brush attachment that I found at my local Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I will use that to scrub the bottom of my feet just to get the dead skin and smoothen out the bottom of my feet especially at the heel area of um, the foot. And it's just gonna make your feet feel like butter. Like, I don't know how, how else to say it. Like, your skin is gonna be popping. You're removing the, the dead layer of skin. It's gonna brighten your feet. You're gonna be looking healthy, okay? We're going from these heels are made for walking to I'm a bet. Come on. So now here is where I am rubbing lotion all over my legs and feet. And then I'm going in with a hot towel. And all you have to do is take two hand towels, get them really damped. You can run some warm water over them. Make sure that they're damped. If you want to soak them and then wring them out, um, that's just for the best. And then place them in a crock pot. Now, you don't have to go to the salon. You can get the same experience. Everyone has hand towels. And most people own a crock pot. If you're one of those lucky people, then you should be doing this. I'm taking my Tammy Taylor file to file and shape my natural nail to the look or desire that I want my manicure to be. Now I'm just removing the cuticle and I like to use the cuticle remover from Blue Cross. The directions require that you wash your nail with warm water and we've done that already. And you also want to apply the cuticle remover at the base of your nail. And then I like to remove it after 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Now we're just applying the Mia Secret Dehydrator and Primer on our nails because we want our nails to last for a long time. My Poly Gel Pedicure Set lasts upwards six to eight weeks. And I'm not even joking. And the problem is actually removing the set than it is whether it's gonna last or not and that's literally you're not having to do anything with your toes for two to three months like you should be doing this 
save your money and do your nails at home. It's just that simple. So after we applied our base coat and cured our nails in the lamp for 60 seconds, now we're forming the nail using the poly gel. And this is the natural pink Mark Hearts poly gel and it's just a beautiful color. It's, I'm telling you like, it looks so natural and beautiful, effortless and elegant. Take your time with this. Do not rush, because where are you going anyways? But this is not acrylic. Poly gel does not harden until you cure them in the lamp for 60 seconds. What I do personally is just put the poly gel at the, towards the base of my nail, so that way I can drag it to the end of the tip of my nail and try to make it look as natural as possible. So that's my trick here. And then also, when I dip my brush in the 70% alcohol, I take the brush, I pat it on the towel, and I use the same side that I patted on the towel to press on the nails. I'm not using the other side that's still wet, I'm using the semi-damp side. Because we want it to be wet, not drippy, okay? We're gonna finish the girls by shaping them up 
and then setting them with some top coat and curing that for 60 seconds. Thanks for watching, please leave your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next video.